Yo, what's going on, people? YouTube, you got your boy Single Tap here. Uh, single Tap, yeah. And uh, today we got a game with the RPD silenced, and you got you got your uh, Glock silenced, and you got yeah, you know, you got yeah, uh, cold blooded, so they can't see in your UAVs, and you got Claymore, so it's pretty much a big stealth clown, pretty much just walking around being a giant stealth clown. That's pretty much what's going on. I'm like a clown. Um, with an RPD, like machine gun, you know, and it's pretty fun, and it's uh, free for all. We got free for all here in the rundown, and um, because it's free for all, that's why I have claymores on. Um, but, but quick little strategy before I get to my topic of the day: the claymores are pretty good for free for all. I recommend you use them because you can't see where the enemy's spawning. They're pretty much spawning every everywhere around you. So you pretty much want to get claymores set up behind you, and then you well, you want to start taking people out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm getting at? Now, uh, I just did this commentary, and then I listened to it, and I didn't sound very happy. So I'm going to try going through this topic is uh, delighted and um, cool and sexy as possibly can, because I think it's more fun when the commentator is happy. That makes you happy. And... Uh, it's not fun listening to someone all you know, pissed off. That's just stupid. It's just silly, silly stuff. So we're gonna talk about overpowered weapons because I got a nice little comment um, from someone who is a little bit, uh, I, I'm gonna say, uneducated. He said something along the lines of, um, "There are no overpowered weapons in Call of Duty." Because I was going over some overpowered weapons in one of my videos, my last one, uh, my last video actually. And he said there are no overpowered weapons in Call of Duty. There are just more efficient weapons than the average weapon. Now, the problem with this is that saying that there are, uh, there's overpowered weapons. That's what he pretty much said, right? And, uh, so, <laughs> I mean, I thought it was kind of funny. He, uh, he didn't, he, I don't think he really knew what overpowered meant because, uh, the overpowered weapon in a video game is the weapon that is more... Uh, powerful than the average weapon or uh, or maybe it resembles a weapon and it's way more powerful than the weapon it resembles um, so that's how we can decide what an overpowered weapon I just wanted to to clarify that that's how you can get, almost prove what an overpowered weapon is um, now now my overpowered weapon for people who just have their own personal Sniffs uh, pet peeves with weapons and they call them overpowered like me. I have a little pet peeve with the UMP I call it overpowered. I called it overpowered. You all got a little bit mad and um, I mean that's all right I understand why people get mad you like using the weapon and I called it overpowered making you feel a little like you're using a weapon that you know You know whatever maybe you're just defending the weapon and that's cool, too, but the thing is I think it's overpowered like the the reason I might have thought think it's overpowered is because maybe statistically maybe if we looked at statistics of the games if this statistic was true that uh, most people who camped in this game a corner camp just to camp in a corner and shot anyone who walked by uh, they tend to use the UMP which I wouldn't be surprised if that was true because uh, it seems like that's how it is so if that's true Maybe I just have a really bad impression of the UMP-45 because uh, I was killed by people who were sitting in corners like this guy right here with his claymore out. Somehow I got lucky I survived that. would have been very sad faced if I didn't. But maybe, uh, maybe that's why I thought it was overpowered. So people who are yelling at me and getting all frustrated because I called a weapon overpowered, there's no need. Um, I want you all to remember this is anything that I do... Uh, this on video games, it's not something to get mad about. Anything that I've ever said and ever will say about a video game, it's nothing to get mad about because a video game is a video game. You know, it's not something that's going to affect us in the long run, uh, what I say about it. Um, it's not something that affects you at all. The second you exit out of that video, everything that I said totally loses purpose. Now, I understand it's fun to leave comments. Uh, debating, arguing, that's cool. Leave a comment debating, arguing. Leave a comment on what you think uh, you, you think an overpowered weapon should be classified as. Go ahead, but don't get all frustrated. That's not what I want to, you know, see. I don't want people saying, wow, or uh, whatever, you know, getting all mad or something. Just chill. Just 
chill and write a comment. Uh, but I do want to see comments, and I do like to see comments. And this game's starting to come to an end. we got about a minute left. Um, so let's hit up a little more gameplay here. I use the UMP Harrier Pavlo setup because I think UMP is very good in free-for-all because it lets you see your surroundings well. And if you use the UMP, it'll, it could help you get a Harrier. And if you get a Harrier, uh, as long as you don't die in like within 10 seconds of time, uh, you can go ahead and get your Pavlo and you... You're actually supposed to spread them out, call on Harrier, and then call on Pavlo once it's gone, because then uh, it kind of savors the kill for each one of them. Because if you call out a Harrier and then uh, and a Pavlo at the same time, they're both taking the kills that are out, the people who can be killed. At the, so it, it's, it's better if you call them out separately, but I just get really excited and just call them out, and I end up winning this game. 30 and 5, very pretty game. Uh, if you've never used the RPD Silence, go ahead and do that. It's a fun weapon to use. It feels like the PV2000 on a whole nother scale. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Good day, good night, and good evening. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And please, if you enjoyed this and agree with anything I said, if you agree with my, what, you know, what I think about overpowered weapons, how a, a weapon is more overpowered, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And go ahead and give the video a comment. Um, and if you want to be really nice, favorite the video. That'd be so cool. And uh, one more thing before I head out. I got a new microphone, as you can hear, I'm sure, right here. Uh, here, let me tap it. Well, that might have been loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I got a new microphone, and uh, I like it. But I'm still messing around with different qualities. So you're going to be hearing all kinds of different audio qualities uh, in my next coming videos until I find the best one. And uh, I think it's better than my, my last microphone. I hope it is. It's been about 90 bucks on it. If anyone else has a snowball microphone and you want to help me out, go ahead and send me a message. Hit me up. And anyone who wants to talk to me, go ahead and hit me up on Skype. Uh, my username single underscore tap. I will talk to you that on there if you send me a chat. I probably won't join a party, but I will chat with you. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Good day, good night, and good evening, fellows and fellas. Don't forget to give the video a trucking thumbs up if you enjoyed anything I said or anything. If you enjoy me and think I'm cool, it really helps out my channel, and it's the least you could do, honestly. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>